Hey guys, I'm Janet on occasion, and today we are carrying on with the carry-on queens, securing the area. We're going to secure the area today, because we're already ahead on uh, resources. Obviously, there's still a lot of resources left in the sector, and we do need thrice the amount we've got currently. Well, thrice plus five. Um, which is definitely how you say things like that, thrice plus five. That's definitely correct. <laughs> so, yeah, it might be, might be a little bit iffy to go for this. It might be. Actually, now that I think about it, like, hmm. We need to get three times as much. We've got through about a third. So we'd be cutting it real close. Whereas if we go for this one, we might be doing this on our own, because that's pretty damn lucrative. Uh, also, we don't, need, we don't need any money. At all. We actually don't need money. Like, not even slightly. It just doesn't matter. We have so much stuff we could sell. We pretty much have infinite money already. So, um, this might not be worth doing at all. We could probably just do this and just get the resources while the other teams bicker over 20. Um, that might be a better idea. We just go all in, trying to do the resource collection. Although, we are in the lead, and this will cut it fine and be quite interesting, and we can nick a ton of resources from attacking headquarters later on if we want to. So, that makes it... that really makes up for um, the lack of resources in this one. So, yeah, we're going to do this. I think it'll keep it more interesting. It'll keep it more tense, and this should lead to like a big scrap which um which i want to do i want to i want to fight where people aren't going for resources just so it's like a big deadly fight because uh, that was really fun last time even though we got our asses kicked we still won and that was really fun so we're gonna try and do it again so we're gonna go to the water still so yeah i'm sticking with with my first my first choice of mission the water still oh god everyone else leave please oh the ripper chain's got it all that's the worst faction that could have got that, you know. That's actually the worst faction. To have grabbed that. That's very disappointing. That is very disappointing. I was hoping... I was thinking, it's like, one in three chance, probably, right? You know? But no. <laughs> no. They went for it. Okay, so the water's still again. We fought here in the past. This, I think, was uh, our first mission of Operation 2. Which was rather fun. We just hung out in a corner and eventually sort of mopped up everyone and went, Oh! We did good! <laughs> Alright, so, where's everybody going? We're going last, of course, because we always do. Oh, they're going as far away from each other as they possibly can! Oh, that sucks! Why are you doing that? Why why can't we all just not get along? Uh, so, I can deploy near the evac, but I'm not sure I want to be down there. Uh, oh, see, like that's where I would love to go. Although, uh, I guess I could go that corner. I go where I did last time. <laughs> God, this sucks. This really sucks. Ah. Oh. Like, they've got the high ground, and this just makes me think, like, we, we really need to have more... Um, more initiative. We need to we need to get higher initiative. We really do. Alright, I'm gonna go over here. It looks like we might be fighting the blue team, then the purple team, which is disappointing. If I go down there, I am out of the way, but they're gonna have the high ground. Although for my dead eyes, they have ascension, so they can climb down, so me being low might force them to jump down. So I think maybe for the first time basically ever, I'm going to take the low ground. Hmm. No, I don't like it. I'm going here. <laughs> Which is still still lower than the enemy, annoyingly. But this may keep us out of trouble a bit. Okay, it looks like the purple team and the blue team are up for sitting on top of each other. Perfect. You guys are my favourites. I always loved you. I love how they're deploying. This is absolutely spot on. This is literally them deciding, yeah, yeah, let's 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 fight each other then. It's like me moving here suddenly spooked the blue teams, so they moved across, and then that spooked the purple teams, so they went over here for some reason. How very weird. How very weird. How strange. <laughs> Alright. Cool. Excellent. That is so dumb. Oh, I'm so happy. Okay, um, in that case, I guess I'll go with... Um, yeah, I have no idea. I have no idea who I want to go first. Maybe we'll go with our heavy first. And then I can get the uh, lay mechanic to bless her weapon or whatever. Should we do that? 
That might be fun. I don't know. Um, or we can just get the dead eyes out nice and early. But I don't want to put them at risk, actually. Let's go with the heavy. She can barely move, but whatever. Okay, Prometheum Germa. What an elaborate name. So, although they're dressed in uh, blue and red, they're actually purple. You need to mix the colours together. Not like our other opponents that are dressed in <laughs> blue and red, but haven't mixed them up. They've just picked one of the colours for their flag. I know, it's confusing. So, Stubber Lawla. I'm pretty sure we beat her up last mission. So that's good news. You know, I'll, I'll keep doing it. That's fine. Oh, she's really on the move, huh? Also, when we were on this mission last time, was it this, um... It was this snowy, right? It was this iced up. I seem to remember being like, oh, wow, it's like a big ice thing. But I don't remember the actual, like, walkways and things being all frozen. But, I mean, they must have been. They must have been. Um, right. So, let's see. So she went all the way over there. It looks like she's headed for the casket, actually. Yeah, I think she might be headed for the casket. That's interesting. Huh. Yeah, it looks like one of them might be just trying to grab that and running. Uh, I'd rather grab that. I'd rather grab that. Although, um, what is nice with the loot caskets, because they are 20 in each thing. If our opponents grab those loot caskets, it's going to be much easier to carry a lot of resources out of their base <laughs> when we get there. But it's always better to not need to carry the resources out of their base. You know? Okay, so... I mean, I can reach them from here. Not a bad... No, quite a bad. I say, not a bad chance to hit either. Then it went to zero. 70% uh, chance isn't terrible. And I do have a few shots. Well, two. <laughs> or I could shred her armor. Because she does have quite heavy armor, you know. Does have quite heavy armor. Uh, what I'm thinking, if I do this... It'll also help me uh, heat up my gun. Which may be a good thing. Although, I think I'm probably better off trying to safeguard and tune up. Um, instead, that cost me 30, I'll be able to shoot once. I think I might just do that. Because this will last. And we're actually in a pretty good spot here. This isn't a bad place to be chilling, you know. Not a bad spot. Oh, that was 80. 83% chance to hit. 39% chance crit. And we missed completely. And I was there thinking, wow, we might even get the crit. <laughs> or, or, we won't hit anything. That works too. No worries. Not a problem. Uh, so what I can do, of course, is get uh, Wallaboo to run over there and just blast them with everything I've got. And then follow up with uh, uh, Deiki as well. Could do that. Could do that. Uh, I mean, this little passageway, there's a lot of enemies that can come straight for us where we're stood, which is iffy, to say the least. Uh, which is why it would be nice to bring someone else over here, but then there's no other cover. Which is why probably should use the lay mechanic. Now, if I have a look, I could put a barricade here. There's a barricade there already. But if I put a barricade here, they're going to be forced to take some other routes around. Possibly even jumping down or having to take that lift awkwardly. So if I use a lay mechanic and set up a barricade here, then I can just use the zip line to access different parts of the map, maybe. Like I could go to the zip line or just jump down from there. Jump from there to here, you know. I've got some options, I guess. Because, I mean, that's the thing. Exits are over here, so if I just put a barricade there, they're all going to be running off that way, probably. Uh, or, going past, potentially, the rest of my team that I can have lying in ambush. So, like, yeah, I think, I think I'll think i use the lane mechanic. I'm going to set up a barricade. Okay, we're just going to be a nuisance. It also provides more cover for anyone that we have on that, um, on that catwalk. Oh god, that's someone on the other team. Like, it's so annoying. They they just had to pick the same colour scheme, didn't they? It's ridiculous. That's another thing with this game. Just being, like, slightly annoying for, like, quality of life um, things. 
Like, that's another thing they can add to the list. Like, duplicate color schemes. Like, there's like a hundred flipping color schemes in this game. I'm, I'm exaggerating. But there's like a lot of just default ones that you can pick, you know? And that's without picking individual colors. But just in the default ones, there's like 15 per faction, so... The fact that we've got two people wearing the exact same color scheme is very annoying. Oh, nice. Good. Yeah, you two just bicker. That's great. Ooh, 100 damage. Yeah, Stubber Lawler's kind of screwed now, I think. I've been terrorized. I think it's going to make her attacks cost more or something. I always forget which war cries which. It makes very little difference at the end of the day. It's, just, it's, a, it's going to be a a long, long-standing debuff. So that's, that's all I need to know. So. Barricade. Pew pew. Barricades. Excellent. Uh, yeah, that'll do, right? Good. Uh, but here, people can jump. See, people can jump. So we can jump over there if we need to. Which I'm cool with. I'm actually cool with that. Uh, also, I did make barricades cheaper with um, stuff. Bypass melee evasion. Yeah, I think readiness is a good thing to get out of the way now, huh? I like that a lot. Cool. And... I just realized she's got a club. We didn't re-equip a las pistol, did we? She is still carrying that. It's okay. It's okay, everyone. It's okay. <laughs> nice. Alright, brilliant. I do love that the AI also doesn't care to destroy destroyables. That's very handy. So as long as we don't, you know, clump a bunch of people behind there, they're not going to throw grenades at it. Um, what next? I would like to set up that ambush, you know. I would like to set up that ambush. Just over here somewhere. So, you know, if anyone does take the lift and try and run around, I can attack them. But it would also be nice to start getting some damage. Though I don't think that's really necessary. I'd rather be I'd rather be set up. So that's the barricade. <laughs> that's our barricade he's running towards. So yeah, for them to get to us, they have to jump over there and then jump over right here. Which they seem to be doing. Oh no, don't do that. Oh, that lasts the whole turn. Oh, this sucks. Oh, you little... Wazzock. Okay, that sucks. I thought like, oh, I'm so clever. <laughs> no, no, they're still, uh, they're still wasting their time. You know what? Screw the ambush. And screw not clumping up. I've got a bone to pick with this guy. That apparently I can't. Come on, you have charge. What is your problem? Okay, death from above? Really? That's what you... Okay, you're... You're the worst. Uh, so, destabilize makes offensive abilities cost more, and that puts down ranged precision and melee damage. Uh, which I think we do actually need to do. Actually. Which is sort of annoying. So we're going to do that, just in case he doesn't die right away. We'll make it so he can't do as much damage, which is always handy. So there we go, he got terrorized. Yeah, how's it feel? How's it feel, huh? Jerk. Jerky jerk face. ka -chow. Oh, of course it grazed. Of course it did. Why wouldn't it? Why Why wouldn't it graze? Well, at least we debuffed him a bit. Alright, what are you doing, Chop Shop? Uh, Mexen? Mexen? Chop Shop Mexen. Yeah, you can't really join the party over here, mate. Catwalk's getting a bit full. I hope all of the enemy have melee. Really? God damn it. All these war cries are literally the worst thing that could be happening to us. Alright, apart from getting killed, but like, it's awful. Because they last the whole... You know, the whole, uh, mission. So like mission long debuffs when we're against these odds already, like it's it's really crippling. It doesn't matter for them; they can just blunder their way through nonsense. There's ten of them, but oh well. Let's uh, let's go ahead and murder this guy. Hundred percent chance to hit, apparently. But there's also a graze chance, and now that's less than a hundred. What is your deal? Seriously. All right, hundred percent chance, but then graze chance is high. It's all very confusing. How's that 
You just can't make your mind up, can you? Zero percent chance to hit, but he's right there! <laughs> what? The hit chances in this game. No, I don't want to shoot that. Oh my god. What is your deal? No target, apparently. Okay, how about now? Really? Can't hit him. Oh, now I can. 83%. 66%. 83%. This is the weirdest game sometimes. Yeah, 83% apparently is what we're getting. So, uh, Heroic Barrage. We'll just shoot the snot out of him. Brilliant. Surprise! It's lots of bullets. Not enough, but still lots, you know. This is bullets. Uh, okay. That, sadly, will have to do. Also, I don't like that I'll be in range of other stuff, but I think there's enough distractions. They won't all shoot uh, Wallaby. But I have been wrong every time I've opened my mouth in this game. So, <laughs> fingers crossed, guys. Fingers crossed. Also, I was in range of the aura, wasn't I? Genuinely might not have been. But I think most of the ones left are on the other side? of the map now? Perhaps? Again, hard to tell. Yeah, you guys just shoot each other, that's great. Yeah, keep keep shooting, shoot among, shoot amongst yourselves, children. End of turn. Brilliant. That's my favorite turn. Just any turn where I'm not being murdered is my favorite turn. Uh, that guy has a sore thrower, I believe, so he can shoot. But who is he going to shoot? Probably me. Well, first he's going to prepare. Oh, that's it. Okay, I thought they were the same team. Oh my god. For the love of god, this operation. Like, they've got a whole new difficulty level with this game. Just for, the, for them, you know, giving everyone the same bloody colour scheme. Still, I'm glad we got that barricade there. That really does limit their options. Especially now that they have someone there. Like, they can't really do anything else. Except this guy's going to give it a good go. Ah, he's taking the lift. Oh, he's giving attack orders to that guy first, though, which is annoying. That's a pity. Yeah, we need to kill that guy. I probably should have had, um... Well, if you shoot him, really. I was thinking, oh, I'll be fine. But he might go first on the next... The next round, so... That might make it a bit difficult. I do have the plasma. Do have the plasma gun though, so I can I can have her take some shots at him. That might do the job. We'll see. Field scan. Scan the field as much as you want, mate. Wow, that did not help you at all, huh? I mean that. Yeah, okay, good. Two shots. Thirty damage. <laughs> Aww. You gonna you gonna shoot again? You can't shoot through those barrels, can you? Oh yeah, you can. Oh good, good. That guy, that Prometheum lad, he has been taking up all their attention. It's been absolutely wild. Really sweet of him. Okay, so. Let's see if we can't shoot this guy. Very, 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 very low chance of hitting him. Oh, actually, that's better. 100%. That's quite good. Can I just... Yeah, again, not 100. That's 100, though. Is that what it changed? Yeah, probably. Do I double tap? Do I trick shot? Trick shot might be a bit rubbish. I could grapnel shot him actually, because that uh, yeah that makes strike cost twice as much. So I'm not sure he's going to use strike is the problem. Um, then if I do this, he definitely won't use strike. But he might just keep using war cries, and will everyone will have horrible debuffs? Who knows? But also this will stop him from being able to kill anyone if he does decide to go all out. Hopefully, hopefully it will. Uh, Let's see, 20 AP for that, 30 to try and shoot him again. I'll give it a go. Uh, that pinned him, but I don't think it did the debuff. I can't tell if... Am I am I pointing at him? I think I'm pointing at him. Uh, yeah, he's just pinned because it grazed, so that didn't that didn't do the job. Even though the graze chance was pretty damn slow, you know, it was pretty low, we still managed to fail, which is a bit gutting. Well, at least we hit him with that. Pinned him some more. Although it did give him vengeance. Which does what now? 
Hit resistance, of course. Yep. So now if he doesn't go first, it'll be harder to hit, which is also kind of aggravating. Uh, okay. You, um... I mean, I want you loitering over here, but I also want uh, my heavy to be able to get past if she wants to. So I guess you're going to stand there, Dakey. Select a fighter. All right, what's his deal now, then? Uh, 116. We cannot go faster than him, even if we tried. So what I might do is just go with Wallaboo so we can blast the snot out of him uh, as revenge for him going first if he happens to go first. Yeah, that sounds like a good plan, right? Probably. Ah, he is going first. Son of a gun. Alright, what terrible things are you going to do to our body? And he's using intimidation again. Or do you just remove intimidation from himself? Can that happen? What are you doing, camera? Okay, he just used a whole bunch of nonsense. But yeah, he just used all the annoying war cries and stuff. Jeez. What are you doing, Maze? Cautious strike. Okay. That wasn't so bad. I can take 30 damage. But yeah, he just did so many debuffs to us. And I think those are debuffs that really impact. Um, uh, oh no, range defensive skills, more expensive. And tactical skills, more expensive. Oh, no, terrorize as well. So minus 35% melee damage for old uh, Daliki. So yeah, she's basically pointless now. Oh well. Could be worse. Probably. So I need to reload first. So let's reload weapon. And then... And then I'm one off. <laughs> I do find that so annoying. But it's clever, honestly. If you have to reload... And move, you can't use Heroic Barrage. Like, it makes sense. Uh, also, 10% chance to crit. Yeah, it looks like we might have him. I said might, didn't I? Didn't say we would have him. <laughs> also, uh, I need to do the big repair. Which is a pity. Um, so I don't need to reload, so I may as well just... I mean, I can reload anyway. Oh, that does actually clear some of the heat as well. So that's not so bad. That's not so bad. So, okay, you're just going to loiter there then. Oh, good. Chop Chop Mason goes next, which means he can get some damage into the other guy. I'd hate for him to just die without doing damage to another one of our enemies, you know? Although now he's just used Iron Will and is running away. Okay, that's annoying. Although, probably strategically clever for them. Really? Intimidation? On us again? Can you guys use your abilities on each other, please? This is ridiculous. Crap. Uh Oh! Oh, he killed our enemy. That's something, I guess. He did hit a bunch of our guys, and possibly... I think they're all bleeding now. <laughs> and uh, they would have done some damage to the barricade, which is annoying. But... That son of a gun is dead, so that's something. Yeah, so they're all um, they're all a bit injured, but that's okay. That's okay. Mostly, kinda. Uh, now I would like to kill that guy down there. We'll get some damage into Shaker Merka. Shaker Merka might be the one to get. The one to target, because uh, he could probably jump over and give these guys some more grief. Uh, I want Lowball to run back here and put up a Healy thing. Or down there and put up a healy thing, maybe, is probably probably better. Because this catwalk is getting a little bit, um... Well, it's jam-packed with cats. I'll just wail on each other. Come on, stubborn Lawler. Nope, disengaging. Which means that she's probably going to run over towards our team. Use a bunch of war cries and things on us. Yeah, see, told you. Lobel's dead. She can't put up the healy thing now. Oh my god. Yeah, the AI seems to be favouring the player a lot at the moment. Which I'm not happy about. I am not happy about that at all. Although we do have a spare lay mechanic, so I don't have to worry too, too much. But I'd rather Lobel not get shot in the head. Because right now, uh, we are behind one of the other teams. And that is not good. That is not good. Because falling behind early is the worst thing that can happen. Because you end up with fewer turns than everybody else. So Lobel getting hit like that, when I especially put up that barricade to try and protect her, is very annoying. I know, should have put it a little bit shallower, right? Shouldn't have put it as far ahead. But I wanted access to that area too. Yeah, I should have played on the safe side. 
Should have played on the safe side. Okay. Back G. Jumping down. Are you going to deal with that guy or are you on the same team? They're not on the same team. Mac G is not on the same team as Chop Shop. Makes them. Good. Alright, who can we kill? Uh, him probably. No, not even slightly. Seriously, like, so much health. It's disgusting. Um, let's go with... Wow, only 20% chance to graze. Yeah, I think I will just go with the, uh, with the Gatling Frenzy. Especially with it heating up our gun for us. Shedding Frenzy, rather. What do I want to do Gatling Frenzy? That puts up AP cost of all skills, which is rather nice. And that one will shred armor. I guess shred armor. She has a lot of armor. Two of them grazed. Oh my god. I, I swear that the AI is cheating. Just every shot seems to be against the odds at the moment. Oh, that's more like it. God, if one of those other shots had hit rather than grazed, we'd basically be done with him. Gutted. Alright, well, you can crouch down there then. At least we almost killed someone. It's something. It's something. Uh, next up. Let's see. Do I want to set up an ambush here? Maybe. Maybe. We'd like to bog that guy down too. Um. Nah, let's just get the plasma gun. Try and take him out. Let's try and let's try and finish him. And oh, of course he's acting. Damn it! He's going to run off. Stay there and let me kill you. Oh no, that's a different person. No, that's a different person. Good. That was the guy that was hanging out by all of our other enemies. That he looks just like. Uh oh, okay. That is. Wow. Okay. Not a single one of those was a hit. Not a single one. They were all grazes or evaded. That's nuts. I don't think I've ever seen that many shots miss in a row. That's impressive. I know what you're going to do. Iron Will. Ah, clever. Because, yeah, you were quite damaged. Fair enough. Fair enough. If only Lowable had the chance to do something like that. Poor girl. Alright, Milk. What are you doing now, then? Tune up. Okay. <laughs> God, just grazes for days. Which made sense, because, you know... That guy did just use Iron Will. So his evade chance was super high. Okay, my turn. Hooray! It's my favourite turn. Uh, so this guy does look like he can get knackered, which is nice. So, yep. Oh my god, seriously? The chance to graze was so low. That was so low. And it still managed to graze. I just feel like it's cheating at the moment. It just, it's so against the odds. Good. He should not have lived that long, though. He really shouldn't have. Um, okay. I'm going to go down here, I think. Just so we're not all uh, cooped up. And... You know, should have used Field Scan, actually. Only lost at the end of the turn. But, like, using that and then double tap just seems like the best thing to do because double tap puts uh, it lowers your chance to hit by 15% so putting it up by 25% you know is yeah it's just a good thing to do because I always seem to have 10 left over uh, but anyway we're going to reload the weapon puts the heat down a bit but that's, that's all fine uh, and then uh, you're just going to sit there I guess because I can't do anything else good I forgot it cost 10 to make her kneel because she got a dodgy spine or something I forget what it is Okay, so I'm going to have a little look, actually. So, blue team still has all of its guys. That is a problem. That is a problem. That's a purple lad. So, yeah, the blue team have everyone left. So, where is that other guy? Oh, there's Chop Shop. Makes, and he's down there. But yeah, that's a serious problem, though. That's a serious problem, because there's what? Purple guy down there, purple guy up there. And where's the other one? Because they do have three, right? Yeah, they got three. 
And I'm not sure where the last one is. I don't see him. So there's one way over there. By those three. Well, by those four. One up there. And one down there. Okay. Yeah, they're in a crappy spot. It's going to be us versus the blue team, basically. And currently, they outnumber us. And that that's bad. That's bad. And that guy we're definitely going to end up killing. Uh, I think Mark G will defeat Chop Chop Boy. But still, Promethium Vrul, we're definitely going to end up murdering. I think we're going to have to, actually, because otherwise he's going to be taking pot shots at us for ages. And that's not okay. And he's going first right now. Can you just run off and go fight the blue team, please? Oh, thanks. Yeah, that's more like it. Oh, I thought he was going to fix that zip line. That would have been nice. I think. Depends where the zip line goes. Oh, he's giving attack orders. Good. I'm glad he's backed off, though. That is, that is very good. Because, yeah, I really need the purple team to get on top of the blue team. Rather than attacking me. You're not going to attack that guy? Just a little bit? He's right there. Nope. Okay. Let's see how it is. I don't see how it is. Seems very strange. Uh, and now I'm bleeding. Let's see. I can go down there, though, can't I? Yeah, I can. Um... Have you got anything nice on you? Just a couple of swords. That's a bit boring. Um, I might take him anyway. And these as well for laughs. What's Jolt Seed do again? Let's have a look. I've got Stinger Mold. Uh, restores 20 HP at start turn. That's good. And restores 10 AP. And gives 35 initiative, huh? Hmm. Yeah, I might use some of this stuff. I'm going to go down here and heal, though. I don't need to heal much. But still, I don't want everyone to be all cooped up up here. So, what's in there? Nonsense. Good. Ah. Why does the camera move sometimes? That's another thing. I feel like the camera moves automatically in order to be convenient, but it never works out that way. Oh, I thought we had to jump that way. Oh, that's annoying. Can't reach there. So, actually, there's not a lot I can do from up here. Um. Yeah. Yeah, nothing I can do around here. Apart from zip line back upstairs. Or jump down, obviously. But. I'll jump down there, maybe. Hmm. Not sure. Oh, zip line costs you 13 AP? God. That intimidation has really screwed us, you know. Yeah, I think we're just going to stay here. Uh, I'm going to use a Stinger Mold. So we can heal. Cool. And then I'm just going to sit here. Uh, I can't kneel, because that costs too much. Oh, I really, really dislike War Cries. I like them on our own guys, but on... Um, I mean, I like it when our guys use them, but when, when it's the, our guys that's the target, then yeah... It really messes everything up. Because when things start costing unexpected amounts, it's really hard to plan your day. You know? Because you end up being able to do, like, 16% less stuff. <laughs> it's just sort of annoying. I forget the percentage. Which, again, that doesn't help either. Because, yeah, just random percentages. Also not a great way to communicate stuff like this. If it's, like, plus and minus modifiers on things, if it's just, like, plus one or plus two, it's easy to remember. But when it's just like, some things are plus 50% and some things are plus 16% and like all the rest of it, it can be really weird sometimes. It can be really awkward trying to remember everything. Okay, Book. Hey, okay, Book, what are you doing? Field scan, which is something I need to get into the habit of using early, so thank you. Thank you for reminding me. It did not help you, but that's lovely. And I love the Prometheum uh, germ, or whatever his name is. It's Prometheum germ, I think it is. Prometheum germ is keeping all of that blue team busy. But, at some point, all that blue team is going to come and attack me, and it's very annoying. I kind of want them all to be dead, you know? Not just busy. Um, I might be able to get the jump on Stubborn Lawler, though. That would be nice. Because what I could do, use that zip line down, use Ascension to go up, and that would give me a lot of movement left to then use Entrench to get my AP back. Or I could just run and not need to get my AP back. 
which is also an interesting um, concept. Uh, but yeah, I think we need to start... Um, I think we need to be bold. I think we need to be bold, or we just won't be able to get... We won't be able to even the odds. And that would be bad. That would be very, very bad. Alright, how far can you get? Quite far. Quite far. Wow. Very quite far. Good job. Um... Oh, I don't have the AP to be able to use thingamajig. Because of that jump. But, if I use double tap... Uh, not... Actually, pretty good chance to get a crit. Because, again, I'm shooting uh, six times. So, chance I will get one crit to get some AP back. So that's not so bad. So I might be able to shoot twice. Once with double tap, once with shoot. So, I'm going to give it a go. Oh, also we get to choose a target, but... Oh, God. Oh, good, left arm. Oh, I can barely hit left arm. Torso has a lot of armor. Everything has a ton of armor. Ah. Oh. And armor against exactly my sort of weapon. But not the left arm. That's 50%... Wait, is it 50% chance to hit or 100% chance? 100% chance. Oh. Oh, good. Okay. Well, we got the... Got the hit chance. Oh, wow. They're actually very close. Huh. Uh, but even then... I'm going to need to use field repair. I'd forgotten about that. Alright, if I jump down, I can use my AP to use Ascension to go somewhere else, you see. Well, that's my plan. Hmm. And there, where can I use Ascension to? Not sure. Not sure. I would like to go up here, maybe? Maybe that would get me out of trouble. Hard to tell. But I feel like here, I'm going to be vulnerable to them just waltzing over and shooting me. Though they might be preoccupied with that guy. But it's hard to tell. I mean, what I could do is use Iron Will, but it seems a shame to use Iron Will now. You know what I mean? That would keep me alive, but... Ugh... I need to play it safe. I mean, I'm killing one person per turn, so I, yeah, I'm gonna... Oh, although I can't use field repair and iron will. Oh, now that's a bother, because I definitely need to use field repair. Oh, if I just use reload, that does free me up a lot of heat, actually. So I'm gonna do that, and then iron will. And hopefully this will do the job. It's annoying to have to do that, but that should give me enough evasion that they won't bother targeting me. So if I don't get shot at, I'm going to consider that that they realise there's no point. It's not that they weren't going to do that. Anyway, and it was a waste, okay? Keep that in mind, because it wasn't a waste. It was very clever. <laughs> it was very clever, and I'm playing things safe. Because I don't want... I don't want the bloody same thing to happen as I happened last time, where I built a wall in slightly the wrong place. And let them come in and kill me. Although, call me crazy for thinking that the uh, the two other gangs would want to actually fight each other. You know? Okay, Chop Shop makes it. What are you doing? Where are you going? Intimidation. Okay. This guy should be dead. Like, he really should be dead. Oh, nice. Nicely done. Kind of a pity, though. Because it's... The purple team, I kind of want to keep going. And that, that guy that you just took out, Promethium Germ, he was the one keeping the whole blue team busy. And so now that the whole blue team isn't being kept busy, they're going to come and kill me. Glad I used Iron Will. Okay, so... Now... We can probably do something. Yeah. Uh, Alright, we're going to get our other... Um, Deadeye up there, so we can set up some Overwatch. Uh, although maybe I should start with Terrain. Because she does have the, um, that stance of hers, which is jolly handy. 
if I can get her closer up there, then I can just sort of sit in her stance. Even if I'm not, like, right on the front line getting shots in, I'm going to be safer. Oh, and look at this. Look at this guy coming right up to try and shoot Wallavu. Or something. Using up all of his AP completely needlessly. Yeah, that's, that's fine. Uh, oh, thank God. I know, it's weird to be like, yeah, the enemy team didn't die. But yeah, I need the purple team to get their act together a bit. Alright, where's he going? Hopefully not for me. Uh, hiding in a corner. Nope, nope, no, nope, he's being brave. Uh, please don't jump over the wall to me. Okay, Jolt Seed. Okay. Then what? Oh. Okay. Alright. Fine. That wasn't very exciting. Where is he? It's down there. Okay. That's annoying that they're on, like, my end. Um. Yeah, that's a bother. That's definitely a bother. But it's not the biggest bother. It's not the biggest bother. There are bigger... There are bigger bothers. There are definitely bigger bothers. Uh, sad I can't shoot through there. Yeah, I could just shoot this guy. I'm kind of tempted to kill him, even though I kind of want the purple team to get their act together, but the purple team seems to be retreating towards me. Though, uh, I could just shoot this guy instead. Because I don't know if you noticed, but this blue guy is on the blue team. And that's the team that I want to die. Uh, so sadly, very high graze chance, if I use any of my Gatlings, you know. It would be nice to get lucky one of these days, but... Yeah, I think we just need to start blasting him. We've got very high damage. So let's just take shots. 120 damage is quite good. Uh, this might be our last shot, because we might overheat now. I really don't know. Uh, I could repair... No, I can only field repair. I can't reload. Oh, that's annoying, isn't it? Because the other plasma rifle, I can actually reload to sort of slightly keep it in check. Um, so yeah, I think I just need to shoot him and see what happens. Another 120 damage, and then overheaters. Yeah, fine. Whatever. You're not the boss of me. It's totally my boss. All right, let's kneel here. So that guy took a lot of damage. We should be able to finish him off easily. With, um, basically anyone, actually. I think uh, I'll run up with my melee specialist. I feel like she, she deserves to get a kill. She can only really swing that thing once, so. Whereas my uh, new plasma lady, uh, Daiki, she can shoot a good few times. She can take someone from, like, full health down if she gets a crit, so... I think it's much better having her shoot the fresh faces that we haven't shot yet, you know? That we haven't burnt horribly. The fresh, non-plasma burnt faces. Whereas the big axe, that's that's better for just, you know, taking out the... the runts hither and thither, you know? Okay, all I can do is ambush because everything costs so much. And she has, like, nothing else she can do. Uh, yay? I mean, I could just sit here in ambush. He's going to have to walk away from me to be in range to shoot me. Though those guys don't have to be. Although he doesn't have great range, but he can still get on top of me pretty easily. Um, hmm. I might risk it for a biscuit. So, let's kneel. Let's ambush. And, uh, do you want a Jolt Seed as well? What does that even do? Puts up initiative. That's it. I remember now. Uh, so I could do that, actually. I could do that as well. That would be nice for next turn. To have better initiative. So if she does get attacked, I can then skip the queue. So I think that might be important. Alright, cool. Alright, that'll do then. No, no, get out of the menu. Thanks. Thanks. 